Yo, what's up, chosen fam? God spoke to me and he said, where is your heart at? Where is your heart at? Is your heart as after the worldly desires? Is it after everything of this world and not of him? Examine your heart. Everything in this world is going to pass away. It's going to perish. But God said, where is your heart at? We are, our hearts needs to be with him and not of this world and not what we can get out of God. But our heart needs to be with him. Through this fight, through this journey. Every day we need to examine our heart because the enemy is after us. He's trying, us to, he's trying to get us to serve this world and serve everything that's of it. But God wants us to stay in him. He wants us to keep striving in him. He's going to supply us of all our needs. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness will be added unto you. Where is your heart at? If your heart is with God, he loves it. He cherishes it. But when our heart is of the world, it's just, it's lost. But he wants us to be with him every step of the way. He doesn't want our heart to be everywhere. Serving the things of this world, serving our blessings. He wants us to serve him and be with him every step of the way. Because we can pass away any day, any moment. And we don't want God to say, I never knew you. Because our heart was somewhere else and not with him. He loves us. He loves each and every one of us. And he wants us to serve him diligently. And he wants our hearts to be with him. Not wavering. He's going to do great things in your life. But your heart posture has to be with him. And not things of his world. He has showed you things. He has blessed you guys. But where is your heart at? Is your heart truly with him? Or is your heart where if he bless you, it's where the blessings are? Where is your heart at? Every day we need to examine our heart. Every day we need to stay in him. We want to be able to say and stand before the Lord. And he say, my good and faithful servant. We want to be able to establish our relationship with him. Serve his kingdom. Do the will of the father. He's going to bless you. Don't worry about that. He's going to always come through because you are his child. You're the child of the most high. Why would he not bless you? Why would he not come through? But the question really is, where is our hearts? Where is our hearts? And Lord, as we come before you, we ask you, my Lord, to make our heart genuinely for you and not of this world. To make us serve you with all our existence, with all our being. So on that day of judgment, you can say, my good and faithful servant, establish, help us establish a great relationship with you, my Lord. Establish on solid foundation, not sand. Deal with us ever the more, Yahweh Yeshua, Christ. Continue to do your will in our life for your glory and for your praise. Let us not lean on our own understanding, but examine our heart and open up our understanding where our heart reside in you, O oh Lord. For we love you, we give you glory, we give you praise. Continue to do your will in our life, O oh Lord, for we serve you and we love you. In Yeshua and Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Keep serving the Lord. He loves you guys. God bless you.